In the 1980s, NATO proposed the concept of Personal Defense Weapon, PDW, with the aim of finding a compact automatic firearm for soldiers to use in close quarters self-defense combat or urban counterterrorism. Under this concept, several compact submachine guns were developed, such as the FN P90, among which the protagonist of this article is the IDW Bushman. The Bushman was designed by George Elo Vega and Richard West in the United Kingdom. The design work began in 1989, and a prototype was exhibited in 1990. It was once called the smallest submachine gun in history, even more compact than the Scorpion submachine gun. The appearance of the Bushman is similar to that of a semi-automatic pistol. It fires standard 9-gack 19mm ammunition. The receiver is made of aluminum alloy. The standard length is only 276 micmeters, and it weighs 2.9 kilograms. Not much larger than a regular pistol. However, the magazine well is not located in the grip, but in front of the trigger guard, allowing for a stable grip during shooting. The gun directly utilized patented technology previously obtained by the designers, which may be the reason why the prototype gun was quickly developed. The submachine gun uses a blowback-operated automatic principle with a short recoil stroke. If not restricted, the theoretical maximum rate of fire can reach 1,400 rounds per minute, which is obviously difficult to control. Therefore, an electronic speed control device is installed inside the grip to reduce the speed by controlling the release of the bolt. The lifespan of this speed controller can theoretically reach 30,000 rounds. It is powered by a battery. Since it controls the movement of the bolt, it is not affected by the amount of recoil the firearm can withstand. It also has no problem with other calibers of ammunition, but attention needs to be paid to the battery level. If the battery is depleted and not replaced, the firearm can only be fired in semi-automatic mode. Under normal circumstances, the speed controller can be adjusted between 100 and 1400 rounds per minute with the factory setting generally at 450 rounds per minute. The submachine gun can be loaded with magazines of 12, 20, or 32 rounds. It has three barrel lengths of 83 meter, 150 mini do meter, and 254 mirror, corresponding to increased effective range. The long barrel can be equipped with a bipod, and a suppressor can be installed on the muzzle. The fire selector has three modes, safe, semi-automatic, and fully automatic. The sights on the top of the firearm are similar to those of a pistol, and later a small section of Picatinny rail was added to support accessories such as laser pointers or red dot sights. In the early designs, there was no stock, but later a folding frame stock that can be folded to the side and extended to the rear was added. The submachine gun itself is relatively stable during firing and can be reliably fired with both hands. Perhaps considering the electronic speed controller to be unreliable, it was later replaced by a structure on the bolt similar to a hydraulic shock absorber system in cars. The Bushman submachine gun underwent several years of development in the 1990s. It was resold once during this period and was finally marketed to special forces, police, and other units in 1999. However, due to the lack of formal orders and the bankruptcy of the company, the Bushman submachine gun was completely abandoned.